one of the basic prerequisites that we need is that our domain and our forest functional levels are at Windows Server 2003. Here you see the domain functional level is Windows Server 2003. You can in fact put 2016 domain controllers into a 2003 domain. Also on there you can see our domain functional level is Windows Server 2003. Now what we can do is we can also check the domain and forest functional levels using PowerShell. So I'm just importing the AD module and the commandlet that I need to use is get AD forest but if I enclose it in brackets and then just give it the section I want which is forest mode it will tell me what the forest mode is and our forest functional level is Windows 2003 Forest and I can do exactly the same for the domain by doing get AD domain putting that in brackets and filtering it for domain mode and our domain is it 2003 also so if we jump across onto our 2016 server, obviously one of the prerequisites has to be that it is already a domain member, which you can see here that it is, it's already been joined to the domain. I'm not going to really run through um, CPU, RAM, memory etc. And then in modern days with virtual servers, we've all got bags and bags of processing power. If you're worried that you don't have enough CPU and RAM, probably shouldn't be installed in 2016 anyway. So we've got a server manager, manage, add roles. I usually tick the box to skip this in future. Click next. We want a role based feature. We want to install it on this server. And the one that we want is Active Directory Domain Services. And there are some prerequisites that we'll need to auto install. Click next, 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 and install. Now, obviously, I've sped this up for the um, video it'll take a little bit longer so if you're if you're actually doing this live you might want to pause and then come back now to perform the following action you need to be a member of the schema admins group because we're actually going to promote this server to be a domain controller and the default is to add it to an existing domain it will select the domain that it is in and after a few seconds it will tell me what it's going to do. It's going to install DNS and Global Catalog and it wants a DSRM or Domain Services Restore Mode Password. So if you ever had to bring the server up in DSRM mode this will be the password that you would need to restore Active Directory authoritatively. Don't worry too much about the error message there. You can search on my website where I've already explained what that means. You can either do uh, an install from media if you wish, or pick which domain controller you want to replicate from. I only have one, so it's a moot point. Where would you like to install Active Directory? And here it's going to tell us that it's going to do our forest domain prep. And after a while it'll probably come up with a load of warnings, but we don't have any errors, so that's fine. Make sure you take note of the warnings and read through. Make sure nothing is applicable to you or may cause you any problems and click install. And then it will upgrade the forest, extend the schema, install DNS, make this an active directory and replicate active directory. Again, I've sped this up, but when it's finished, it will automatically reboot the server for you. Just wait a couple of minutes, the server will restart on its own. Then I'll log back in as the domain administrator. Server manager launches automatically, which annoys the hell out of me. Minimize that. Okay, so if we have a look in our domain now, if we've got a Active Directory users and computers, or just run DSA.msc, 
and look in domain controllers we should see our 2016 domain controller there it is it's also telling us it's a global catalog server that's good we are happy with that close that down now what I'm going to do now is if I open up um, the command window I'm going to check where my FISMO or FSMO rules are and they will all be on my older 2008 domain controller so if I run a net DOM query FSMO it should tell me where my five FISMO rules are and they are indeed all on my old 2008 domain controller so to transfer them across this is a lot easier to do in PowerShell you can of course do it graphically if you search on my website I've already demonstrated how to do this many times but it's much simpler now in PowerShell you can simply run uh, move ADD directory server operation master rule I know it's a mouthful but uh, just press tab put the name of the server that you are transferring the rules to i.e. this one and then you need to specify which master rules you are going to move we're going to move them all there are five and they're numbered 0 to 4. Do I want to move the PDC emulator? Yes. Do I want to move the RID master? Yes. Do I want to move the infrastructure master? Yes. Schema master? Yes. Domain naming master? Yes. So as far as this server is concerned it now holds all the FSMO rules and we can run exactly the same command that we ran at command line here in PowerShell to demonstrate that. Let don't query FSMO and there we go our new server now holds all the FISMO rules. Let's just have a quick jump over to our old domain controller and open sites and services. Now it may take a while before for these to put to populate. See these automatically generated. It's going to take a while for those to appear. So make sure that you've got full Active Directory replication between both the domain controls and you can now safely demote your old 2008 Active Directory domain controller.